Hi, I'm Kelly Herrick, artist, author and creative living guide and this video is all about what the heck is even creative living. I titled the little thumbnail creative life happy life for a very good reason because I am of the belief that our creativity, our absolute desire to express and be ourselves in this world is what makes us happy. And when we are creative, when we are expressing, when we're imagining and innovating and coming up with solutions and alternatives, we not only create an amazing life for ourselves, but we do incredible things for our families, our friends, our communities, the world, the planet. A lot of people say to me, what actually is creative living? And I get that. It might sound a little bit woo-woo, a little bit arty-farty, but this is what it's not. Creative living is not about art. Yes, I'm an artist. Yes, I'm an author. It is not about writing. It is not about painting, performing, playing piano, being an amazing chef. It's not about those things. Those things are outputs of our creativity. They are artistic pursuits or they are creative skills that anyone can learn and I mean anyone can learn to do these things. You might not be amazing at them, they might not light you up, but you can learn them. What I mean by our creative living, our creative life, our inner creative juice, our creative superpowers, our unique creativity is how we approach life. So really creative living is creating the life you want to live. It's about accepting, believing, stepping into the power that you are creative. Yes, you and 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 you, all of us, we are all creative and we seem to accept in a really easy way that we're not. We seem to allow ourselves to become these sort of modernized robots, these soulless grey beings that just go around following processes and doing tasks. I'm here to tell you guys that that's bullshit. We are all wildly creative in our inner soul. We are all creative. Now a lot of people say to me, especially when I'm teaching art, I can't even draw a stick man or I've got no idea where to start and I appreciate that but remember what I said, our creativity is not our artistry. They are two different things. One is a learned skill and one is something that we absolutely have as a species. We are the most creative species on the planet. Whether we've used that for good or ill is another debate, but we are super creative. Nature is incredibly, incredibly creative. It's abundantly creative. And you are of nature. So therefore, you are creative. So if a creative life is about creating the life you want to live and using your own unique creativity to do that with the flair and panache and style and results that only you can achieve on this planet, the first thing you have to do is absolutely believe in your creativity. For many of us, believing in our creativity is absolutely linked to letting go of our fear around creativity and it's often fear of judgment fear of um, being seen as frivolous or or pl too playful. I mean, what's the problem with that? Um, so letting go of fear is often linked. So living a creative life is unique expression of you and it's letting go of those fears. We know that fears don't always just disappear and we have to live with those a lot of the time. So when I talk about letting go of fear, it's about being brave and being curious enough about your creativity to feel the fear and do it anyway, as the lovely Susan Jeffers would say. So really, living creatively is about accepting the challenge. Why even try to live a creative life? It's a really good point. And really the benefit is that it is you being absolutely you, authentically you expressively you. Living your creative life is your intention, your purpose, your meaning, your fulfillment in your own life. That, my friends, is why. That's the big reveal, okay? 
That is why living a creative life is so vital to how we feel. It's really vital to how we feel in our soul and our spirit and our energy and our direction in our life. So why live a creative life? You're quite right. You can go through life reacting and being part of a process and being unintentional and being repetitive or you can stop. You can grab your creativity by the balls and go for it. And the benefits to you are going to be a million fold. The benefits to me, and I've really worked on my creative life and living more intentionally over this last decade in my 40s. And the benefits to me have just been absolutely mind blowing. It's, um, I feel like I went from a sleeping corporate robotic, um, I feel like I went, let me put it this way, I feel like I went from living somebody else's dream and doing really well at it and being really applauded and, and getting all of the rewards for it to suddenly waking up and stepping and creating my dream and what I wanted from the world and changing my outside world, my outside life to match my in, inner inside desires. And I think that's what creative living is really about and what it will really do for you. I mean, who doesn't want to express who they are? Even if we do that very privately and very quietly, we all want to make sense of the world. We all want to make sense of this life that we're living. And doing that in a creative living way is basically taking all of these external filters and stimulus and connections and everything that's going on in our lives and making sense of it and putting it through that unique view that only we have, that only each one of us has, and then putting it back out into the world. So we might take things in and if we're not living a creative life, we might just react to them, other people's anger, other people's situations, other people's demands of us. Whereas when we're living a creative life, it's an intentional way of being. It is, I will create, I want to create, I am creating what I am living. So therefore it suddenly opens up. It becomes a filter where you can take all the external stimulus still, but you can take from it what what is meaningful and useful to you and you can change it and 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 mash it up and make it into something totally unique for you. Now that might take the form of art like me and writing but it might not. It might take the form of your creative expression of taking the outside world in and then pushing it back out. Might take the form of creating amazing opportunities in your community or creating more openness and safety in your place of work or being a bloody brilliant parent or friend this is creative living. This is about being intentional and creating what you want to see in the world. It brings a fabulous openness. It brings an incredible sense of freedom and wildness and playfulness because all of a sudden you realise that you don't have to step into the process. You don't have to repeat the task. You don't have to do what the man is telling you to do. The man, not a man. The man. You don't have to do that you can take it and create something totally different. And instead of being given an option of you can do this or you can do that, you suddenly get possibility. You suddenly get, I can do this or I can do that or 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 that times a million. That is creative living. And I feel really enabled and empowered to talk about creative living because I have come from um, a super free, wild and creative background, you know, growing up and being born into the fair and exploring all of that and being really open and being really able to play and explore as a child, which has led, I think, to a really colourful and, and conceptual imagination, all the way through building a really steady and ambitious corporate career, <laughs> which absolutely killed my soul. 
and then swapping and changing and intentionally creating something new and finding new people to collaborate with and work with and building up my own art practice and my own teaching and creative living uh, tutoring as well. I feel empowered to talk to you about it because I've transformed my life in this way. So it feels really genuine and really authentic and 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 just really powerful I've lived it so I get I get to understand it and share that with you and you know I talk on creativity to Petra Cooch International to Creative Mornings um I've been on the BBC I've guest taught I've guest podcasted on various things and why I do that is because whether you come and play with me, whether you take one of my courses, whether you read my blog, visit my website, whatever you do or don't do, I really don't mind because my vision for you and my desire to speak up about creative living is that we unleash as much creativity into the world as we can because that is the way we're going to save the planet. That is the way we're all going to feel and live in a more positive and powerful and connected way with one another so so what I'm saying to you is feel powerful to go out and build and create a creative life for yourself whether you look to me for help and support on that or not and I'm not saying I don't care about you I definitely care about you what I'm saying is go and find your own direction if you need to. Come and get support from me if you need to. I would love to see you on one of my courses. I would love to share some stuff with you on social media, but that's not what this is about. This is about you accepting and believing you are creative. This is about you then being intentional to create the life you want. This then is about when you are creating the life you want, the positive ripple effect that has from your family to your community to the whole world. This is about you feeling purposeful, fulfilled, joyful, free, wild, playful. This is about you having a creative life. And I want that for you so very much. So if you want some more support, come along to kellyherrick.com. I have courses. I have a Step Into Your Creative Living course in 30 days. Come along and see me on social media at Kelly Herrick Art. You can subscribe to my weekly inspirations. All of this juicy stuff is there to lift you up and help you step into your creativity, help you step into being intentional. If you don't need the support, go off and have that amazing adventure, but still tell me about it, please, because I would love to know what you're doing. I'm so excited for you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.